Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dylan and I am back yet again with another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial video from the DJI Mavic Pro series that I'm doing on my YouTube channel right now. Um, okay, so return to home. It's an awesome feature. As long as you're in GPS, you get your satellites and um, you store your home point, which should automatically happen if you calibrate your, drum, your compass and um, do all of the correct pre-flight rituals and um, everything will be good to go. Um, so you just wanna make sure that you always set a home point. So there's two options for setting a home point. Okay, so your two options um, for your, what, what is the return to home point for your drone is number one, if you go up here and you go to the drone, right here it says home point settings. This first one is the actual physical place on the earth where your drone sits. If you choose that and store it as your home point, that's the where the drone has been sits. Updated. Please check it on the map. So as long as you're flying and something goes wrong and it's okay for your drone to come back safely where you took off from, that's the option that you want. However, if you're like out on a boat in the lake, the, the, your home point that you're gonna wanna use is this other one, which is the location of the remote. So think about it. You're on a lake and you store your home point as you know the remote on the boat. But the boat's gonna float, it's gonna drift, so you don't wanna set it as the physical coordinates. So I hope, I'm surely you guys understand what I'm saying. You can set this other one to come back to the remote in case you move somewhere with the remote. But in this case, we're gonna test out the accuracy of the home point from just the, you know, the X and Y the geographic has been updated. location. Please check it on the map. As you heard, I just set my home point, let me do it one more time, for the actual physical space of the aircraft. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, and now guys, if you will see here, we are on the 50 yard line of this varsity football field here in my hometown. Right on the 50, and we have a piece of plastic sheet that it's on top of. That's where we're gonna take off from. That's what we have set as our home point. And um, the Phantom 3 standard that I had, it did pretty good on the return to home feature as far as the accuracy of where it came back from where it took off. It would go any it would get anywhere from with within you know a foot to sometimes it was five to seven feet off but i'm going to show you guys how to do return to home just as a fail safe feature and then also we're going to test the accuracy let's do this so now we're just going to take off and we're going to fly the drone a ways quite a way so we can get away from the home point Okay, so you're seeing the footage from the drone on the big screen right now, and I'm looking here on my on my remote, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but I am 170 feet high and 772 feet away from me right now. So say something happened, and I panicked, and I, I, can, vis I can visually see it. But say something happened, and I'm like, man, I can't find my drone, I'm, I lost connection. And I, I, as a matter of fact, if you lose connection, like transmission signal, it's set up to automatically come home. So anyways, hypothetically, I have lost my drone, I'm freaking out, I want it to come back to this plastic sheet, which is where we took off. Let's see how close it gets. Again, 773 feet away, 170 feet tall. What we're gonna do is, is we are gonna push the return to home button and we are gonna slide over. And I already see the drone coming back. Now it's gonna be interesting to see how close it gets. It's coming right above us, so it came home. It takes it a while, and it's telling me right now that it's landing. And now guys, it is descending. Let's see how close it gets. 
We have not moved the sheet. Move to the left, to the right. It it literally landed exactly where the plastic sheet was. It was 770 some odd feet away, 170 feet tall. Tell me that is not impressive, ladies and gentlemen. These drones are awesome. They have so many fail safe features, just like that one. And I just highly recommend this drone. I've only had it for like three or four days, and it just amazes me. It's a really cool little consumer drone. Please hit the subscribe button. We're starting to get into the real fun stuff. We're gonna start doing all the intelligent uh, flight modes and um, just all kinds of good stuff. Guys, thank you for your support. Again, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Shout out to my cousin Bull for filming. This is Dylan, peace out.